Hey, Auburn High School. I got a very serious uh, video uh, to, to provide for you. And I know it didn't start off too serious when you look at these two ladies. Um, if you've seen the video before um, or the TV show, I Love Lucy, this is when uh, Lucy and Ethel kind of got into it in the candy factory. They were supposed to be doing some type of work with quality control. And as that conveyor belt in front of them started to move faster and faster, um, the quality of the control kind of went out the window. So the video is about quality control, um, but, but much more important than, you know, making sure the right candy gets in the right bags. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the ECR codes. And this is a code indicating if a student is to be home because there's COVID related concerns. Okay. It's an excused absence. And what's been happening is we've had kids showing up to school actually with the E cr code and and going through the school day without anybody reporting it so we have to give super super laser beam attention to our attendance when the kids are before they're arriving and i'm thinking like after first period because first period you may not have any information but just check your guys attendance especially during your planning time do some double checking especially if you got a lot of classes after that but we have to be on top of this this is one of our layers of safety um, this kid's staying home and they don't feel well. That's like the first layer. Some of our kids, they need some help with that. So when you look at, um, if you're doing your attendance by seating chart, um, what you'll want to look for, and our two uh, fake students here, what you'll want to look for is the code right there if you're doing a seating chart type attendance on Skyward. Okay, the ER code is vitally important to look for and catch while you take attendance each class each day. Okay, and if you do see that, you need to contact the attendance office, um, follow the protocols laid out for you, but we need to make sure that we're following those, but you can't follow them unless you know exactly the status of your kids. If you're someone who takes uh, your attendance more by name, okay, via Skyward, you can do by, by seating chart, you can do it this way, and this is just a two-person class, obviously. Um, you're going to want to look for that ECR code right there. Okay, it's really important because we're getting a lot of kids. I don't know what a lot means. That's just what I was told going through our school. And yeah, their masks, we're doing a pretty good job distancing. But for the most part, it's not the way we're supposed to do it. It's not, we're not following the guidance. So I just really want to impress upon everybody who's taking attendance, whether you're doing it from an office, whether you're doing it from a classroom. Um, that you do it with fidelity and you slow down when you do it. I know it can become very routine and mundane, but this is a, this is a safety issue now. It's not just recording and documentation, but we got to know it. So be on the search for those. All right, enough said. Thank you for all your hard work. And hopefully this was pretty painless and hopefully you're already doing a great job. Thank you.